Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jen. This channel is all about sewing crafts and DIY projects. We are continuing the Learn to Sew in 2020 series featuring the Brother CS7000i sewing machine. All links are in the description box. And we're focusing on a very beginner-friendly project. I actually used scrap rayon chalice for mine. This is a sash style scarf. Super versatile, you can wear it as a headband, it can be a hair tie, it can be a neck scarf, handbag embellishment, or even a belt. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. These are leftover scraps of cotton and steel rayon chalice. The piece I'm cutting is 64 inches long and six and a half inches wide folded. My ruler has a 45 degree line and I used that to make the pointed ends on the scarf. Instead of pins, I applied a thin line of Elmer's washable school glue to hold the fabric together and hit it with a dry iron. Leave about a six inch opening for turning later. Mark that section so you don't sew over it. At the sewing machine, stitch from end to end except for the marked fabric. Backstitch where you stop and start for the opening so the stitches don't pop out. When you get to the corner, stop with the needle down, pivot, and continue sewing. On a pressing board, fold back the edge of the fabric of the opening section. This will help when you hand sew this spot after turning. Clip each corner with small scissors to eliminate bulky fabric. Now it's time to turn the scarf right side out through the opening. Be gentle with it and use your fingers or a point tool to poke out the corners. Do your best to push out the seams and press. The last step is to hand sew the opening closed with a ladder or invisible stitch. I like to double up the thread and knot the ends. From the inside, pull the needle out at your starting point. The knot will keep the thread in place. Stitch small sections of fabric from side to side. When you get to a stopping point, make a knot with the thread and pull the needle through it. I like to hide thread by inserting the needle into the fabric and pulling it out at some random point, then clipping the thread. Your stitches should be mostly hidden. And here's the finished scarf. I recommend using a fabric with some drape. And here are a few ideas on how to style it. Wear your scarf as a belt by tying it around your waist or running it through belt loops on pants. Tie it around your neck in a number of different ways. Wear as a cute headband. Or as a hair tie and a ponytail. If you're new to sewing, I've got lots of sewing machine and project videos here on the channel. Check some of those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys again in the next video.